hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing well today i'm going to show you how to make nigerian stew and for this i'm going to use goat meat i have fish that's whitening i love whitening fish for stew here i have four chicken seasonings i have um ginger i have garlic I also have corn oil for frying. You need thyme. This is dried thyme. All purple seasoning. This is edible. Curry powder. I'll use um, nutmeg. White pepper. So in this bowl, I have four onions, red onions. I'll blend three with the bell peppers and the tomatoes. Then I'll use one to cook the meat. I also have one scotch bonnet pepper here. I'm using only one. If you can tolerate more spice, use as much as you can. So for the full list of everything I'm using, I'll leave them in the description box below. So do check it out. Moving on now, I'm going to chop up my onions. These onions I'm going to use to cook the meat. So I'll slice it and set it aside. Basically what I'm doing now is prepping everything I'm going to be using for this stew so that once I start cooking everything will go fast I'm also going to chop the garlic. I'll peel the ginger and chop everything up You can also blend this with a blender if you want together with the onions After chopping, I'll put them in a plate. We're going to use that to cook our meat soon. So now I'm going to take the seed out of the bell peppers and cut them into smaller bits just to help my blender. So I'm putting it into a separate bowl. You see that blue bowl in the sink? I'm putting it inside there. I like to use red bell peppers in place of um, tomato paste when making my stew. You know, I just think it's an healthier option. I'll do the same with the onions and tomatoes. I prefer using plum tomatoes for making my stew because over time I've discovered that the sourness in this plum tomato is very less. When you fry it, it doesn't take a whole day, you know, it gets out fast, so yeah. This is out of the way. I'll set it aside. Now I'm going to start cooking the meat so that the meat is cooking while we do every other thing. I'll add the meat to the pot. Then I'll add the sliced garlic, ginger, and onions I chopped up earlier. Now I'll add um, thyme, curry powder, white pepper, seasoning cube, and adobo seasoning I showed you guys earlier. Then I'll add water and allow it to cook for at least 35 minutes. So while the goat meat is cooking, now I'm going to add um, seasoning cube to my fish and curry powder. Guys, if you don't use curry powder to fry your fish, I don't know what you're doing. It gives fish very nice taste. I love to use curry powder for my fish. 
So you can either use salt or seasoning cube. I'm using seasoning cube and curry powder. I'll mix everything together and let it marinate. So now I'm going to blend the tomatoes. The trick I did was to add the tomatoes at the bottom of the blender. That way you don't need to add water. The juice from the tomatoes will eventually come out and blend the tomatoes. So that's what I'm doing now. After blending, pour it in a bowl and set it aside. I'll rinse it off with water because we don't waste food here. <laughs> so it's time to fry the fish. I'm going to add my corn oil into my frying pan and then once it heats up, I'll add in the fish and let it fry. I'll advise you use a non-stick frying pan to fry your fish so it does not stick to the bottom of the pot and scatter because this whitening fish can be very soft. So once it is brown, I'll take it off and put it on a paper towel to drain off the excess oil. Thirty-five minutes later, the goat meat at this point should be at least 85% cooked. So I'm going to dig in with a fork and if it drives through easily, I know it's almost there. So what I'll do next is take it off the stock so it does not soak up the water. And now it's time to cook our stew. I'm not going to be frying this goat meat, so yeah. So now into my cooking pot, I'll add the oil I used in frying my fish. I didn't, guys, I did not know what I was thinking about. I used a small pot at first. Secondly, I didn't know I didn't turn on my camera, so it didn't show when I was pouring the tomatoes into the oil, but that was what I did. So now I'm transferring the tomatoes into a bigger pot. So I let it boil for 15 minutes. I'll give it a stir. Then I'll add in the goat meat. Remember the goat meat was not cooked through. So I'm adding it on time so it will complete the cooking inside the stew. So I'll add it in, add the meat stock and let it cook for another 20 minutes. So this is 20 minutes later and as you can see the oil has started coming to the surface of the pot that's how you know that your stew is getting there so now i'm going to add one more seasoning cube and nutmeg then i'll give it a very good stir one thing i also want to mention is that i did not cover this pot all through the cooking process and that is because i've noticed that there's a slight difference in taste when i cover my stew and when i don't and i prefer it when i don't cover the stew so this is it. I'm going to now scoop the oil, um, the excess oil out of the pot and reserve it. You can use it to make other Nigerian dishes like a goosey soup, jollof rice and so on and so forth. So lastly, I'm going to add in my fish and give it a very gentle mix and my stew is ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.